Greetings guys, welcome to the channel. My name is DJ RC. On today's video, I have a small tutorial that I wanna do with you guys. It's very simple. Today's video is about people who use normally code generators, like the ones where if you press one key, it plays the whole code. And after that, you don't know which chords were played from that chord generator. Or you can see them, but it's hard to like plot them. It, it takes a little while to plot because you pl you're pressing and then you have to look at what's being played and then you have to plot it around, you know? So on today's video, I'm gonna show you like a very simple thing that you can use to actually uh, extract those MIDI files into a, a whole MIDI file, like the cuts, you can see the cuts properly, you know? I wanna show you. Uh, this mainly is for people who use things like Instacart, Scalar, uh, Cut, Cthulhu. So on today's video, we're gonna be using um, a plugin called Cthulhu. It also generates cuts, right? So let's say replace, and then we go to Cthulhu. This is how Cthulhu looks. So now, what happens is, with Cthulhu, uh, you have some nice presets. Well, don't ask me about the presets, most of these are bought. Uh, I'll just come here and say maybe this. I just want any of these cuts. All right, so we have a cut thing. So if you play one note, it plays the whole cut. As you can hear, these are amazing chords, right? So, but again, you like to do this. This is what we like to do. So when you come into this, on the output part, you say one, and then you probably maybe link it with uh, Launch Lizard. So from Launch Lizard on the input. So the output from one goes to the input on one from this. So it means whatever chords that I'm playing from here, We'll be playing into Launch Lizard this time. So I'll be playing this. That sounds amazing, right? So now the problem is that you can see the chords that you are playing every time you play on Cthulhu, right? You can see them there and then you get it, right? Every one of them, when you press one note, it shows you what you're playing. The problem is now you want this as MIDI, as, as the whole thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play the one note, and I'm gonna plot them, maybe. Let's say this. and then probably reduce the, the velocities a little bit. So let's play this. Let's play a metronome. And that's a beautiful chord progression. Now you only have it as one note, so you can't really edit it as much, you know? So what you wanna do is, on the Cthulhu thing here, let's do this, on Cthulhu, right click on this, go to band MIDI, and make sure it's on new pattern. And then, there you go, it gives you the MIDI of it, right? So, like I said, it works mostly with uh, chord generators that let you play one key and you play a whole chord. And now you can copy, you can maybe cut this and put it on Launch Lizard and you like this. Uh, you can randomize this however you want, you know, let's say accept anyway. Mm -hmm. 
and that makes it amazing. I think that's the lesson of today. Hopefully you got to learn something. I just wanted to keep it as short as I could, you know? So if you're using one of those, make sure you do this, you know? Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us to grow. And I'll see you guys on my next tutorial.